Hello. Um, we're Hummingbird. My name is Selena. My name is Miles. I started out making music as a loom, um, which was just like me playing with garage band and singing. I started talking to Miles and I sent him some demos and I really liked how like he just would send back heaps of stuff like with just like one thing and I'd send him more demos and he'd just like throw me these ideas and I was kind of overwhelmed by it but I was like okay and at first when I listened to it I was like this is so strange and it took me a while to digest it and then I like, liked his like energy and enthusiasm. I've kind of been making music for a little while under a few different names. Um, we did a track together um, under this alias I was doing called Suda. I was coming from making like like house and techno and like hip hop stuff. I think we both didn't realise that we were um, really like sad, kind of. Oh, I knew, I knew. <laughs> really like, uh, I don't know, like um, sort of down tempo, like piano stuff, and um, or just like more ambient stuff. Because you often make music and it's um, like it's people like it and it sounds good. Yeah, you just feel like you've sold out or something. It's quite, it takes a while to like start making music that you're actually like, yeah, this is sick, this is actually like. Music that you like more than what other people are making. I kind of like the process of like, um, like recording everything from scratch or, or making a drum sound. Like using pre-processed samples doesn't make me feel like I'm actually making music. It's like, oh well, yeah, the product's almost like it doesn't sound as good when you're actually making it yourself. But that's kind of the kind of the um, beauty in it. Miles will sit down and like play some notes and I'll start singing something but it's actually the what we struggle with I would say is like not the coming up with ideas it's like the st structuring and finishing and like especially when you're playing live a lot like we've had to um, I guess it shows you like the merit of the actual song like if you're playing it live and you've got this idea yeah. and then you actually continue to like it like the stuff we were playing at the start we were making in a far more kind of structured way and we'd sit down and practice these songs and we don't play any of those songs anymore and we're not going to record them they've just been like lost and that's what we'll play for like the first six months of our performances and so i think like performing live and simplifying everything and just trusting yeah. our instincts more and we've kind of been writing music based on how we're going to perform it live um, i kind of think of it as like a like a linear kind of left to right um kind of thing like so there'll be a drum hit there, and then like heaps of space, and then a drum hit there, and then heaps of space. And... It's like a cityscape. Yeah, or well, like a like a train kind of um, <laughs> thing. I make music like a train. <laughs> yeah, well actually whenever I make music I watch a video of a train. You do actually? Yeah, there's going like... Going into the tunnel room. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry. So yeah, yeah, we kind of, um, we kind of tried to, tried to basically make whatever we're playing live, um, we're actually creating on the spot. Whenever, whenever someone's asking me, like, what's the first, like, how do we get gigs and stuff, I'm just like, yeah, just play, play a side chain. Um, it was so important and exciting to me when I first got an email asking if they wanted me to do it. I was like, I can't believe someone wants me to play music. Like, yeah. I'm so scared and I'm gonna have to figure all this shit out. And it basically just makes you get off your ass. And yeah. Like, if you if you're locked into, like, you can just piss it out in your bedroom for <laughs> for years. Um, <laughs> Twenty five years. Probably. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bitter and <laughs> resentful. And I think that that's like a really important thing to focus on. It's not about like the people you're playing for or what they're thinking. It's just like how you feel about it and how you go away from it and how you approach it as well.